Unless you do what I'm going to tell you to do in this video, you will no longer be able to send email out with AWeber, MailChimp, Constant Contact, GetResponse, or any major email provider. If you've got a list and you're using any type of autoresponder service, active campaign, anything, um, you will no longer be able to get emails in the inbox unless you do what I'm going to tell you to do in this video. Don't worry. It's not that bad. I'm going to show you step by step, but you got to follow the thing all the way through. First thing you need to do is you need to get your own domain name. If you've got one, great. If you're sending email out at you at gmail.com, if that's your from address, your sending address, that will no longer cut it. You've got to get your own domain name. For example, if you are Dave at MillerLandscaping.com. you got to use Dave at MillerLandscaping.com. If you've been sending out e email at MillerLandscaping at gmail.com, no, 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 no. Forget that. You need to have your name or whatever at yourdomainname.com, a professional domain name. If you're using a mailing service like AWeber or any of the others, any, any of them, and you want people to actually get your emails from now on, those are the rules. You got to up your game. Got to get a domain name. So no big deal. You can get one for about 10 bucks. Uh, I'm a reseller for GoDaddy, quickregister.us. You can go there and get one, but you can get one from any major um, domain name registrar. That's what they call them, registrar. So go ahead and get your domain name if you haven't gotten one. It looks better anyway. Then the fun begins. You're going to need a DKIM record, SPIF record, DMARC D -M -A -R -C record and most likely C name records for the specific for the specific uh, provider that you're working with. If it's a Weber, it's a Weber. If it's get response, it's get response. You don't need this twice. So that's what you're going to need. Don't worry. It sounds really techy. It's just copy and paste. And I'm going to show you what I do with my system and my system, if you can master my system, it's going to be very similar to any system with any other uh, registrar out there. It's more or less the same thing. So don't worry, just follow along. It's copy and paste and we'll get people getting your emails. Now, this is my DNS management system. They will all look similar, whether it's GoDaddy or Namecheap or whether your web hosting company is doing it for you. It's all the same thing. And so we're going to add these records in to our DNS, copy and paste. Now I use cPanel WHM to manage my website. So I need to go to the email deliverability section. I type that in the search bar. I come down here, email deliverability, and then I'm going to come and I'm going to click on manage and I'm going to come down here. And now here I go. I have these famous DKIM records. You don't have to know what all this means. It's copy and paste. I'm going to click here, copy. I'm going to come up here to my DNS management system. Put name there. It's going to be a text record. I just leave this number there. No idea what it's for. Maybe someone could explain it to me in the comments area. Okay. I'm just trying to get your emails working. Again, value here. We're going to copy and paste this. Go here. We click create record. Okay, bam, created successfully. Beautiful. Now we've done step one. Very good. Come back here. That's done. Was that too techy? You're just copying and pasting. You don't have to know everything. Now we go to SPF. And every DNS management system will have this. They'll have a generator to generate these for you. Uh, GoDaddy has them. They all have them. So not, mine is generated by my cPanel, WHM. Uh, so there's a lot of systems out there. They'll all be a little bit different, but it's basically the same thing. So anyways, SPF, copy, go here. Same thing. Text record. Come back, get it. Okay, copy. Paste. So I'm just copying and pasting here. Now I've done it. Now that part is done. We've got the first two. I've got, uh, we've got, you've got your own domain name. DKM is done, SPIF is done. 
Now we have to do the DMARC records. Okay, now we're going to add the DMARC record. Now this is the format. There are many formats. If you want to study this, you can get your PhD in DMARC. As far as I'm concerned, I just want to get my emails out and I just want to get this going. So this is the simplest format right here. Now what you're going to need is an email address at your domain name specifically for DMARC. You could use any email address at your domain name, but they're going to send you lots of these notices that you're probably never going to look at and neither am I. Um, and you need a place to send them to. So I can set up an email box, DMARC at mydomain.com. And that's what I'm doing. And again, there's all kinds of things you can add to this. I'm not going to bother with it. I just want a valid record and to get going. So what I do is I copy this and I come on over to my DNS management system. Now I already did this as a test. I'm going to, I'm going to delete it. It's going to be similar for any other DNS management system. So I go, I do underscore DMARC, oops, underscore, underscore DMARC. That's for the name. Why? I don't know. I'm just following orders here. And then I put the, the data here. That is what I have here. Okay. That's the data. I'm putting that there. All right. And I'm going to click create record. Ah, it's created successfully. Successfully. Now, what you can do is you can test it. Here's a site called DMARC DMARC Record Checker. Come down here. You put your domain in here. Inspect the domain. Is it good? Is it bad? Hooray! Your DMARC record is valid. That means your emails are on their way to the, to going out. You're on the right track. So I've done DMARC. It was basically copy and paste, right? That's basically all it is. Sounds fancy and it can be fancy if you want. If you want to go study this stuff all day long, there's things you can add to it, but these are valid records that will work, right? You're going to add, have to add some C name records specifically for your email provider. And I'm going to do it in AWeber. I'm sure it's going to be similar in other systems. Okay. I'm in my AWeber account. I'm going to go to list options, list settings, manage email addresses that this is going to be specific to your email provider now you see some of these i've done and some of these i haven't okay let's see i've done the dkim let's see if this works i'm going to click refresh so not so fast what i need to do here is set up specific dkim records for a Weber and you'll have to set them up specifically for whatever system you're using. Fortunately left, they've given us these records. And again, it is copy and paste. Now these are going to be C name records. C name. I'm going to come to my DNS management. Okay. Go down here and choose C name. Name I put here. Okay. Let's go back to a Weber. Name host, same thing. Value, I click to copy, come back here. Here. Let's make sure. Let's do create record. The record has been added successfully. Very good. Now I got to do it two more times. They just want to make you keep doing it. All right, I'm going to do it again here. Same thing. Let's make it quick. C name. All right come back here get the next one value we're copying and pasting folks you don't have to know what any of this means you can study it if you want add it successfully do it again let's do it quick do this in real time don't want to waste our time on this all right go 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 let's see one more let's see yeah we got to jump through some oops oops c name baby c name let's get c name all right now we go here here we go and let's go we got them all three in there now we're going to see if we're kosher with a weber we're going to come back here we're going to go back now we're going to click refresh let's see refresh i verified the email too you have to verify the email click refresh dang got it now i'm good to go that's what i did so let's review what i did 
Let's review what I did. All right. I came here. I bought my own domain name. I had that already. You got to have your own domain name in your email at your domain name. Then with Aweber, and it's going to be the same everywhere. Like I said, what I did was I verified the email. You got to verify that email. So we did that. Next thing, I did the DKIM records. Now I did this, the general DKIM records, like I showed you. Then I did the SPIF records. You got to do that for the emails to go out. Then I did the DMARC records. Now these C name records specifically for the email provider. When you come back and you see if you're good with your email provider, and you are, I've got to do a few others here, but that's how you got to go. So if you want your emails to go out you have to have your own domain name that's where it starts you got to have here i'm at the free or at forum.com at toprankvideo.com it's not going to work anymore at gmail.com so get busy on this review if you need to if there's specific uh, things for your specific provider check with them but that's basically the way it's going to go for more most major email providers and they should have instructions as well specifically for them so there you go get going on this if you need to get a domain name i like to ask you to, to purchase it from my reseller site go daddy reseller site i've got the prices lower the lowest they allow me to do it quickregister.us the link is below if you found this information helpful please like and subscribe and share thank you so much this is matthew may quickregisterseo.com